the runes Thurisas and Lagus, the rune department. The bond between the runes Thurisas and Lagus, it is quite mystical, by the way. The rune Thurisas is called the rune that acts, while the rune Lagus is the rune that carries. So there is a slight difference between them. But both are runes of movement, runes that make a person commit to an act. The only difference is that Thurisas is an individual intention and Laguz is a collective intention. Here the runes showed you your intention, that it is a current, your intention craves a current. A current, it is really not bad. We will reach this rune in due time, but notice that the rune Laguz is part of the third at. The third at pertains to results which will only reveal themselves when your personal qualities, both innate and some that need to be acquired, have been manifested. This, in turn, will be taken care of by the second ad. With the third ad being the logical culmination of the first two. But you have it now. You want to manifest it in a result already. But do not rush. Because Laguz without Thurisis, without a personal Thurisis, when manifested in the outer world, will show you that the results you obtain while in a current, they are not yours, they are everybody's. While Thurisis is your own intention, which means your own result and as a consequence your own existential volume. Laguz is said to be the rune of witchcraft, while Thurisis is the weapon in the hands of Thor. We know from the myths that witches and warlocks were, as he thought it himself, Thor's enemies. Although his own wife did not look with disdain at certain witchcraft mechanisms, and his daughter Thrud, his only daughter, is considered today to be the master of all witches. There you have it. This is how complicated Thor's relationship with witchcraft is. He may be fighting witchcraft, and yet he prefers witches to anyone else.